It's Friday, April 4th, 2014. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson. Here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. The campus is getting ready for one of its signature centennial celebration events on Thursday, Friday and Saturday of next week, April 10th, 11th and 12th. UTEP is having a three day campus wide open house and we hope you'll make plans to attend. You'll discover UTEP's groundbreaking work in 3D printing, hear a music performance from Mariachi Los Mineros, get an inside look at UTEP's breathtaking campus transformation, tour the Border Biomedical Research Center where faculty and students develop vaccines and cures to diseases and so much more. On Saturday, the final day of our open house, UTEP alumnus and Hollywood producer Hank Cohen will talk about his new documentary, UTEP, The First 100 Years. The documentary will be shown at the Centennial Museum at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. For a full schedule of events, please visit utep100years.com and plan to discover more about what makes UTEP one of the premier public research universities in America today. Congratulations to a group of graphic design students whose work is now on display inside Sun Metro's fixed route buses and at the Downtown Transfer Center. Each of the seven pieces commemorates both Sun Metro and UTEP Centennial Celebration. This week, the designs were unveiled by El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser and UTEP President Diana Natalicio. The Don Haskins Center will come alive again Saturday when the UTEP women's basketball team plays Rutgers in the championship game of the Women's National Invitation Tournament. The game is sold out, but you can watch it on CBS Sports Network. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. We'll see you next Friday. Go Miners!